Hi guys and welcome back to another uh, Project Zomboid Louisville playthrough. Uh, it's going to be my second attempt. Uh, I've spawned, looks like pretty much in the middle of Louisville. Let's have a look where we are. Okay, top right. So, yeah, it's just going to run through, uh, have a little playthrough, see how far we get. Not too sure where, what the end goal is, kind of just to survive, I suppose. Um, so I'll go through the settings. I've got I've got custom sandbox. I've got uh, XP times two, I think. Uh, let me just close these curtains. Um, just so it's not so much of a grind, messing around. Um, just as a little boost. I've got multi hit on this time. Uh, I've also got the mini map on this time. Uh, now the zombie settings they are a standard apocalypse with just apocalypse settings with just the changes that. Um, I'm mentioning so the population uh, multiplier is set to 1 the start the population start multiplier is set to 4.0 and the peak is set to 4.0 but respawn is turned off um, so yeah we'll just kind of go and see how we get on so I think to this episode we're just gonna uh, let's eat some cereal because I always take underweight um, yeah so I've changed it up a little bit in the stats a few stats I've got rid of thick skinned as I'm not planning on getting scratched all bit and I've got rid of uh, I've added on organized to give us that bit of extra space so we got 20 in here uh, and I've also got rid of what did I get rid of cowardly um, yeah so let's just have a little look around um, let's scope out the area and we're playing as uh, John McClane so die hard himself as you can see he's got no shoes and just a vest so uh, we're going to try and see how far we can get John going. Uh, as hopefully he will die hard, uh, or not die at all, but we'll, we'll see. Um, okay, so straight away we found some clothes, which is nice. Um, let's get these on. Just for a bit of extra protection. I could really do with some shoes, but... Um, if not, we'll have to kill a couple of zombies. A, nice, a bag would be not. Oh, and look at that. That is a nice start. <laughs> I haven't searched this house before I started recording. So, yeah, this is all genuine what we're finding. So that's good. Uh, we'll take that sheet for the door. We'll take the painkillers, bring them downstairs. Um, let's have a look then. What else we got going on in here? Uh, not a lot, really. So I think we're going to have a little peek outside. It's foggy, which isn't always good. Uh, let's have a look. Um, okay, what we got then? What we got? Sheets. That's what I want to do. I just want to sheet up the door. Uh, add sheet. Okay, so let's have a little um, close cut. There we go. Let's have a little peek outside. Uh, okay, it's very foggy. Okay, we got some uh, we got some Zeds around already. Oh, he nearly got me. Let's push him over. Let's see, he's got a watch, which we will have. Have some of that. If they keep coming in single file, this is fine. We can handle it. Um, I've added a couple of mods. Um, if you got any questions about the mods, just drop a comment, uh, and I can tell you which ones I I use. Ooh. Take the car key. And we'll put the gun on the floor. Uh, let's wear the watch. Oh, I haven't put the life and living on, but I'm not too worried. It's cooking, and we got XP times two. So uh, let's have a look. So tune in to that. Have I missed it? Like I say, I'm not too worried anyway. It looks like I have missed it. Um, all right, so let's have a look then. Okay, yeah, a little, going to come one by one, this is fine. May do a bit of fence hopping. I don't want too many because I haven't got a pan. Oh, it looks like I've got the keys to that car. Interesting. Yeah, I think we're going to do these houses. I can do with a pencil, just because so I can mark. Oh, we got in here, carpentry or anything? Uh, carpentry level two. Uh, tailoring level two, nothing really jumping out at me just yet and a couple of magazines but once we secured the area we'll come back and uh, assess so I'm gonna jump this fence this could be a bit risky okay we're fine don't normally go crouchy stealthy but I'm not too sure what's around me so I don't really want to 
you know, risk running into a horde. And keep that window open because it's fenced off. Uh, what we got? I could do with a bottle. Uh, I'll take them actually as a little temporary weapon. Uh, we can come back for the food. I kind of just want, uh, I want a bottle, which is good. Let's drink some of this stuff just to, uh, let's fast forward it. There we go. Let's fit, no, not the swashman. <laughs> Where's my bottle? Oh, I've got the tidy up Meister app, um, app mod. So it kind of puts everything back where it was before you used it, but I want the bottle. That's fine. Um, oh, where's my bloody... Where's my saucepan? Ah, oh, this is going to be an issue. That's fine. Uh, home. That could be the metalworking book. Carbon should have a want. We want that. We'll take Taylor in one while we're here. Uh, okay, not a lot in down here. We need... We'll take that pipe wrench. Definitely. We'll actually have that... Um, as our weapon. Let's have a look upstairs. Yeah, it could do with some kind of bag. Uh, now that I've got a pipe wrench, I feel a bit... Uh, some more. Uh, we'll put the denim jeans on as well, just because they have more protection. So John McCain, and you know what, why not? We'll put a summer hat on, just because. Um, keep us warm. Oh, pencil, here we go. This is what we need. So I'm going to favourite the pencil, uh, and we can mark a map of where where we've been and when we fully start actually I'm taking that hat off, it's distracting me um, yeah I'll mark where where we have and haven't been f when they've been fully looted uh, for now it's just kind of scoping out trying to get some weapons just like the basic equipment for survival really uh, I'll take that sewing kit because it's got a needle uh, yeah so John McCain hopefully we can uh, you know get rack up some kills, clear the area oh shit um, the carpentry. Jump over, jump over, come on. I can hear some zombies the other side of this fence. Okay, let's uh, read the carpentry. There we go. So, yeah. Ooh, we got, we got some friends. Oh, I'm loving the mustache. Let's get rid of this guy. Come on, you bastard. Yeah, so the pie wrench is very helpful as you can plumb in. Uh, we'll take that to dismantle it. We can plumb in any water containers. Um, but it's also going to be quite a good quite a good weapon to start with. Uh, let's take these antidepressants. I'm just going to have a little look around the neighbourhood. There doesn't seem to be that many. Uh, there's a few up there. Oh yeah, here we go. There's a few around here. Um, okay, yeah, let's get rid of this guy. I'm maybe he's going to try and avoid the high street for now. Okay, let's have a look around the back here, as this could be a, an escape. Uh, if we do get some kind of, a lot of activity around the front. So let's just have a look. Okay, there's a couple here. I think he's wearing gloves, which is going to be nice. Yeah, he is. That's fine. We'll take these out. We'll take the leather jacket. We'll take the gloves. Oh, that multi hit is glorious. Alright, that's that done. Leather jacket. Oh, good condition as well. 100%. Bastard. Put it on. Well, get rid of the pants for now. Oh, there's my saucepan. Did I see you had gloves on? Oh, we'll take the socks actually. Uh, no, he didn't have gloves. Okay, not to worry. Uh, right, let's get back to uh, to looting these front houses. Let's go over the fence. Uh, did I close the front door? Nope. Rocky mistake. So, yeah, that book is pretty much useless now. Uh, so I'm going to sort out the sort out, I'll sort out the place eventually, but I'll put the red books to there. We've got Carpentry 2 as well. 
Oh, an electronics one. Perfect start. We're looking good. Right, so let's carry on with the uh, fence hopping. Oh, I can hear some. That's fine. Kind of just looking for the basics. So a hammer would be nice. Um, a hammer, screwdriver, things like that. Uh, we'll, we'll try these houses, uh, get established, get a couple of good weapons, and then we'll go from there. Could do with some garages. I'm not too familiar with Louisville. I, as I said in the last video, I played a couple, a uh, few hours there on multiplayer. Um, but we kind of just stayed in one place, to be honest. Uh, nothing really get good in there. Uh, I'll take the magazine. Uh, do I need mechanics one? I think I took. Yeah, I do need mechanics one. So I'll grab that. Uh, as that is going to come in quite handy. Not too worried about the cook show or the uh, cooking magazine just yet. I kind of just live on uh, cabbage salads. So uh, we will take that though. I've got the uh, workshop, scrap workshop mod added. So hopefully we can kind of uh, get some cool armor, some cool weapons uh, later on. I thought I saw that door move, not to worry. Okay, so we got a sword. We will take the bucket hat though. That is a definite. Oh yes, there we go. A lot better than the summer hat. Uh, tweezers, I can't remember if we've got some, but I'll take them. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, I don't really need a farming magazine. I'll take the fishing magazine. I'll take the hunting. Uh, I'll take the metal work. I'll take the mechanics, actually. Uh, okay, let's have a look. No, oh, all good. How are we looking on weight? Yeah, I think we can get another house in before we need to go back. Oh, shit. Um, okay. I don't hear anything over there. I'm a bit tired. I'll take a rest in this house, I think. Oh, uh, we've been lucky that the doors have been open. Uh, sorry, that the doors, uh, windows, we've been able to get open. Uh, what we got food wise? Yeah, let's just take it. Oh, yes, we'll take that to get our calories up. That's very nice. Uh, yeah, let's just take it. Going to be over encumbered, but I'm not too worried for now. Uh, nothing actually. We will eat some maple syrup just to keep them calories going. Uh, where's my calories? There we go. So yeah, I start underweight. Uh, I think you've got an increased chance of getting knocked over by a zombie. Um, it's so easy to at the beginning, especially in Louisville. It's so easy to get to. I think you can gain three pounds a day, whereas you can only lose a pound a day. So going underweight is just three points. Um, you know, it's just a good trait to take. I think I always use it. Uh, let's fast forward a little bit here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it sounds like we got something down. Yeah, we got we got company in here. That's fine, that's fine. You can always get out the back. is an issue. <laughs> bit off a bit more than I could chew there. Right, okay, shit. Let's get rid of that. Uh, oh shit, they're coming in. So I'm quite panicked, which isn't good. Uh, that's that one done. Are you going to come through this window? No, I'm not risking this. I'm getting out of here. It's, it can always, you can never be too sure on Project Zomboid. You think you're fine one minute and the next. I should have been more careful. I'm getting a bit too uh, complacent. I don't want that gun as shit. I had it in my last playthrough. Alright, okay, we got a couple here coming over. Let's take them out. I need some smokes. This is fine though. Let's try and push them over. 
be an interesting uh, series. <laughs> Alright, we look good. Alright, let's get in our house. Let's calm down a little bit. Let's watch the, the show and get rid of some of this food. And then I think we'll tackle that. Uh, the next houses. When we've got rid of some of this stuff, I'm going to put it all in the fridge for now just because it's all in one place. Uh, books to read, uh, I'm gonna put in here for now. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that. That, 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 and that. Let's just get rid of it. Is there a window? Oh no, that's in there. Medical stuff I always tend to put under the sink. Uh, we'll keep a bandage with us uh, at all times. Is that someone knocking on the door? I can hear him. I can hear him out there. Let's get rid of that. Let's put that on the floor for now. Let's put that on the floor for now. And that and that. Uh, and that. I'm surprised I haven't found one with uh, a satchel. They're normally always hanging around. Okay, so yeah, if the respawns off, let's try and get a couple of these over, just so they're not so close uh, to us, to our house. Don't really want to mess around with them over there. This is fine, three of them. What have I just increased? Uh, okay, sneaking, that's good. Yeah, the times two XP boost is going to help. I just thought, you know, it's not going to be as grindy that way. Um, let's get rid of these. I think we're not going to have a problem with food at the start, it's going to be weapons. Alright, what have I just increased again? Okay, short blunt, that's nice. Um, nothing there worth taking. I think body, dead bodies are going to be an issue as well. I may have to look at uh, reducing the uh, corpse disposal time just so it doesn't lag out. Nice hat, buddy. Come on. Okay. As long as they come in like this, it's fine. We can take them out. It's when we get about, you know, 10, 20 of the bastards. That's when we're going to have an issue. Okay. Let's go back and watch the show. Uh, and re-level two carpentry while we're watching it. I think for tomorrow, because carpentry is the most important one I find. Uh, let's just fast. Oh, I don't know it yet, do I? Of course I don't. Um, let's get rid of these bodies. Don't want them in here stinking up the place. Yeah, let's get out of here. And we shouldn't have a trouble with vehicles either. Um, what if I just increase now? Okay, life. Uh, this nice. This nice. Let's get you out of here. Uh, grab a corpse. There we go. And there we go. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Um, what's it looking like in the kitchen? A load of old junk around. I'll sort these out at some point, maybe off camera. Uh, okay, so what we can actually do, just for a bit of organisation, uh, we'll move the dried goods into there. And we'll move them out of the fridge into there as well, because why not? Okay, so that one. Uh, so non perishables can go in there. Let's 
let's have a look then. So, bear with me. yeah, so the channel's come on now. Um, so we'll have a look, we'll watch that. Uh, nice, 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 that's fishing. I'll we'll speed up the time. Okay, so I think we've got time just to have a look in that house over that, that third, third or fourth house. Oh, actually, let's just clear these out. Oh shit, no, I don't mean to do that. Oh, we got a tool shop over the road. Maybe we have a quick look in there before we call it a day. I don't really need the guns yet. I'm not really worried about guns until we have a shotgun and then we can increase our aim. Because guns are pretty awful before level 3 aiming. Uh, yes, it's nice and open as well. Let's have a look then. Oh my god, we got a machete. That is glorious. Uh, we'll take the wrench, we'll take the screwdriver. Uh, oh, we'll take the hammer. We've got it all. We've got it all. We'll take the axe, we'll take the duct tape, we'll take the nails. That'll be it for now. And then we'll come. Actually, is there any like pipes or anything? I'm going to actually equip that machete uh, and use that. Can I repair it with one of the mods I've got added? I'm not sure. No, I can't. Okay. That's fine though. There's a sledge in here, a nail gun. Looking for like anything any kind of weapon really because the sledge out uh, the machete won't really last that long with low maintenance a chainsaw oh shit i never seen this i feel that's going to be quite quite loud so maybe we'll save that um, I've no, didn't know that was actually in the mod, so that's something new. We, oh, we got fishing gear in here. Okay, so let's just anything else, anything else. We can always come back anyway, so I'm not too worried. I did see an axe. Maybe we go axe. But we're looking pretty good. Let's just go and. Is there anything out here? Let's go and secure our house. I think first of all. Okay, yeah, we got we got some in there. <laughs> Shit on it. That was close. Getting too cocky because I got a machete. Let's see if we can lure a couple. Of, yeah, there we go. Just to thin it out a little bit, we'll bring them round here. Snaking's gonna be again, there must be a lot of sense of Oh yeah, John McLean is absolutely gonna slay him with a machete now. Yeah, it's not gonna last very long, I don't think. Let's take that. Yeah, come on now. But you know, you know he's an absolute weapon, John McLean, so it makes sense that he's got a machete. Can I lure a couple more of these over? Just to make it a bit more safer around here. I dread to think there's a bit of lag down there, so there's probably a shit ton of them. So let's just clear these bastards out. The hardest bit in some ways is getting established, I find. It's the beginning bit. Um, but we've actually been quite lucky. Um, Let's have a look and you gotta watch, yeah. This is nice. Uh, I'm not too worried about the leather jacket and everything yet. We'll do tailor in it uh, later on. Yeah, we should be able to take these easy. But then, yeah, the, the, the starting's always the hardest, but then as you get more established, you get more complacent, and then that's also just as risky. Like I'm walking forward into the attack, which I shouldn't really be doing, because um, that's how you end up missing, and then they get you. If 
So I'm feeling pretty confident at the minute. Let's get back in our house. I'm gonna board. Do you know what? I might even board the front door up. Um, let's sort out our favourites first. So we favourite that. We favourite the screwdriver. We favourite the hammer, so we don't put it anywhere. And the and the saw. Uh, let's. Ah, oh, there's someone knocking at the door. Or the window. <laughs> So am I where I was on... No, I'm not where I was on the last playthrough. Or close to it anyway. Right, that's fine. Let's... Am I going to be able to get any planks from this? That's the question. No. That's fine. So I think what we'll do is leave it here. I'll probably read uh, the carpentry book off screen. Uh, and the electronics, all the boring stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.